So today we are going to solve the week 10 graded assignment. So the first question is that which of the following is are the critical points of the scalar valued function that is f of x y is equals to this 3x square y plus y cube minus 3x square minus 3y square plus 2. So here are the options that is first is 0 0, second is 0 2, third is 1 1, fourth is 1 2 and the fifth one is 0 1. So the solution is that the f of x y is equals to this equation has given that 3x square y plus y cube plus 3x square plus 3y square plus 2. So here we take f x is equals to 6x square minus 6x that is equals to if we take 6x common then we have 6x into y minus 1. This will be our first equation. Then we have f of y is equals to 3x square plus 3y square minus 6y. If we'll take 3y as uh, 3 as common, then we have 3x square plus 3y into y minus 2. This will be our equation number 2. Then we have to equate the equation 1 and 2 to 0 and then find the value of x and y. So we have fx is equals to 6x into y minus 1 is equals to 0. So here we have by solving this we'll get x is equals to 0 or y minus 1 is equals to 0. That will be equals to y is equals to 1. Now we have to substitute x as 0 in the equation first one that is fy is equals to 0. Then we will get f of y is equals to 3x square plus 3y into y minus 2 is equals to 0. Then we have to put the x is equals to 0 then 3 into 0 square plus 3y into y minus 2 that is equals to 0. Then we have y is equals to 0 and x and this one again y is equals to 2 because x we have kept it as 0. Then again we have to substitute y is equals to 1. So in the equation f i is equals to 0 we will get f i is equals to 3x square plus 3y into y minus 2 is equals to 0. Then we will keep x as it is then 3 into 1 into 1 minus 2 is equals to 0. Then we have 3x square is equals to 3 because this will be equals to minus 1 into 3 that is equals to minus 3. So by changing the sign 3 will go here then we have plus 3 turns into minus 3 and uh, here it is al already as minus that that's why we have this side as plus 3 so by taking this we have x square is equals to 1 that will be x is equals to 1 under root 1 or 1 then x will be plus minus plus or minus 1 hence we have the points given as 0 0 0 2 1 1 and minus 1 and plus 1 these are the critical points of the given scalar valued functions so our option number 1 2 and 3 are correct then we have our question number 2 that is we have to consider a function this uh, belongs to our square of r defined as f of x y is equals to first one is written that x y square upon x square plus y to the power 4 if x is x and y is not equals to 0 0 and uh, if f of, f of x and y is equals to 0 uh, by otherwise by taking the condition of otherwise so now we have to choose that which of the following conditions is true about f of x and y so the first question is that the directional derivative at x 0 0 in the direction of a unit vector u will be u1 plus u2 is equals to 1 then we have to do that uh, the directional derivative at uh, 0 0 in the direction of a unit vector u is equals to u1 u2 that is equals to u1 u2 square upon u1 where u1 is a non zero then the third option is amongst all the directional derivatives at x uh, 0 0 but the maximum occurs in the direction of the vector 5 comma 5 then we have there is no such plane which contains all the tangent lines 0 0 and hence the tangent plane 0 0 does not exist so now let's have a look at the answer so here we have the given that f of x and y is a piecewise multivariable function so that the directional derivative at x0 0, 0 in the direction of unit vector u will be u1 plus u2 that is equals to we will put limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h u1 and uh, comma y plus h u2 minus f of x y upon this h then by solving this we have limit h tends to 0 f of 0 plus h u1 
and zero plus h u two minus f of zero zero upon h. Then limit x ten h tends to zero. H of u uh, one plus into h of u two upon h of u one square plus u two square h of u two to the power four minus zero upon h. Then limit h tends to zero. We have h cube u one. By solving this, we have h cube u one and u two square upon h three into u one square plus h square u two to the power four. Then by solving this, we have limit h tends to zero. U one U two whole square upon U one square plus H two H square upon U two to the power of four. By solving this, we have U one plus U two whole square U one into U two whole square upon U one square. That is equals to. We will cancel out this. We have U two square upon U one. Let me erase this. Then we have so the directional derivative at x. Of zero zero in the direction of a unit vector u one and u two will be u two square upon this u one, where u one is not equals to zero. Then the directional derivative at x of zero zero in the direction of the vector one upon sorry it's one comma root three will be three upon two, which is greater than one upon root two in the direction of the vector five comma five. This implies that it is not maximum. So we have option three is incorrect. Now the f of x uh, f x of x and y is equals to equation given by square into uh, y to the power four minus two x square upon this x square plus y to the power four whole square. If this condition is given that f of x and y is not equals to zero and second will be zero, the condition will be of otherwise. Then we have f of y of x and y is equals to this equation given, two x y. Yeah, wait, wait. Let me clear this. This equation has given two of x y into x square minus y to the power four upon x square plus y to the power four whole square. If first one the condition given x of y x and y is not equals to zero zero. Second is it will be zero. The condition will be of otherwise. Then we have to observe. That these partial derivatives are not continuous at zero zero, and we have to use the definition of continuity, which says that uh, after this there will be no plane which contains all the tangent lines at zero comma zero, and hence the tangent plane will not exist at zero and zero. So we have the option two and option four are correct. So here we have seen that in question number two. We have option two and option four as correct. Then in question number one, we have this option number one zero comma zero, option number two zero comma two, and option number three as zero as one comma one are true.